Good morning. It's, don't look around at the mess. <laughs> it's the 9th, Wednesday, the 9th of March. And I, we've been to Aldi this morning, spent about £72. But I just thought I'd pick out a few bits to show you. Um, yeah, bits that I like. Okay, I love proper full fat Greek yoghurt. And theirs is always really nice. I'll try and find the prices for you. But I don't remember them offhand. All of them anyway. This skur is like a high protein one, which um, is quite good for breakfast. I think that was 99p. And this is their Lacura, like the L'Oreal one, but the clay one is the one that my daughter really likes. And I just thought I'd try this. This was, I think, 85p, which is quite cheap compared to the L'Oreal one. They've got fish and chips at the moment, my husband's favourite. I think they're 99p or a pound or something for six, like six. Peach slices, I love these. Peach slices with some Greek yogurt, delish. They have these sets of seeds. So this one's a flower selection. Multi-pack seeds, 99p. And vegetables. My husband's hoping to get his allotment soon, so they're a bargain. Um, different kind of seeds. Chia seeds. Now, we add these to breakfasts and to Greek yogurt, that kind of thing. Same with sunflower seeds and also pumpkin seeds. And I used ground linseed as well. And then it's nearly Easter, hot crust buns, they look delish. Caramel and Belgian chocolate, I didn't realise that we. Um, these rice packets are really good. I think they're about 35p, something like that. Um, just enough for the two of us. And we just worked out it's a lot easier than making getting a pan and cooking all the rice and um probably cheaper now with the electricity and gas prices as well. Uh, we get through loads of spinach, so a bag of baby spinach and salad. I picked out a candle. Ooh, and bergamot. They also had honey and tangerine. I liked the sort of deeper smell of this one. These I love. Wholemeal seeded pitters. Um, they only had one pack left, so I only picked up one. I was going to get another one for the freezer. They had white ones, but this is the last wholemeal one. And Emmental cheese. Love this stuff, although the packs are huge. They could do with making smaller packs. Uh, this is really useful. Garlic puree. Saves you chopping and stuff. I mean, we use garlic as well, but this is handy to have in the fridge. And finally, this... Seeded bloomer, it's really nice, big thick slices. Uh, we sort of put so many slices in the bag and freeze it so we've got a few at a time. Oh, and lastly, I forgot about this. From the middle aisle, the aisle where you find stuff you never knew you needed. Garden line windowsill greenhouse for starting his seeds. It's about quarter to ten and the shop's open. I've just put the blinds out. I'm not sure about signs today, whether uh, it's too windy for them or not. I can see my blind fluttering around. Hang on, let me reach this. Let there be light. Whew. Right, because I've done the Aldi shop, I just don't feel quite prepared this morning. So I need to make my list which I normally do first thing in the morning, so I'm gonna do that now with my cup of tea. I just had a surprise. I had a um, parcel, a little parcel come in the post, and I'd ordered some watch batteries. Can you remember I got those watches the other week? And one of them needed a new watch battery, so we'd ordered this um, funky little gadget, I'll show you that in a minute, for opening up the back of the watch. And then I ordered some watch batteries, and I thought that was in, but it wasn't. It was some Avon from my, like, the one up from me, whatever she's called. Uh, she said, congratulations on being two out of the four winners of the February incentive. I don't even do Avon anymore. I just have a link if you're interested in the Avon. And I can earn a tiny bit of commission, but I don't do anything to promote it, really. So what have I got? Let's have a look. 
I've got some mascara, which is good because mine could probably do with being replaced. They never really run out, do they? Sorry, my A board fell over outside, so I had to go and stand it up. And somebody had put it up for me, and so I had to have a little chat with them about wind. <laughs> Let's have a look. Legendary lengths. Ooh. And some gel shine nail varnish. Very nutty. Let's see. Ooh, I've got a feeling I've got that one. Look at me with all my gadgets. I've got my laptop, my iPad, my phone in my hand. Um, today's reseller, resell and flourish uh, post was your workspace and my workspace is obviously my shop and I count myself very lucky to be in a position to have a shop it's like my signs up there um you see how quickly my mind gets distracted I'm so sorry yeah I count myself very lucky to have a shop and to be able to be in this position I really do enjoy it most of the time although it's hard work and draining at times too um I do count my blessings so what was I going to say? Oh, I've had to bring my blinds back in again on my sign because my sign kept falling over and my blinds were rattling and the last thing I want is for them to rip. <laughs> I have to replace them. So shall I show you this funky little gadget for opening watches? So this was about £4 on Amazon. If I can find the link, I'll put it in the description box below. Um, but it was free delivery. And then I've ordered some batteries because although I had some different sizes, I didn't have the right size. I'll see if I can show you how it works at the moment. So I don't really want to put it back on. But if you get a watch that's got these sort of ridges on the back, it's one that twists off. And so you need a special kind of gadget to clasp it. And then you can twist to take it off anti-clockwise. My husband actually took it off, but I'd looked online how to do it. This is what the funky little gadget looks like. You twist this and it alters the gap between these two. And then it fits on to turn it round. See, I'm all about the technical know-how. So it's about five past twelve and I have had zero sales so far today. But I'm keeping the faith. I had a good day yesterday. And last week, I only had one really bad day. The rest of the day is all picked up in the afternoon. So it's what's going to happen today. I'm confident of it. And I've just had a phone call. A lady's asked for me to put one, something to one side. She's going to pick up in the next couple of days. So that's kind of a sale in hand, isn't it? Uh, I've got those puzzles all listed. They're all on my website now. So that's good. Go and have a, go and have a little look. Go and have a nosy. Have a little nosy around the site while you're there. Um, what else have I done? I've done other things. What have I done? Oh, I was just having a little nosy on Avon because uh, that reminded me. And um found some really nice looking little eyeshadow palettes that are new. Unfortunately, doesn't they don't seem to have in stock the um, cleansing balm that I really like. I'd really love that Emma Hardy one, but it's too expensive. Um, so... I'm just having a nosy what's on the Avon website but I have done something else and I can't think what it is I didn't spend ages on the Avon site but I did see some other makeup brushes that look really nice they were like 25 quid reduced from like 40 pounds I mean I I don't I don't have a lot of makeup brushes so I don't know if that's a good deal but they look really nice anyway um I'm sure there's other things on there all the bubble baths and all that's all lovely anywho if you do want to have a look Click the little link in my description box and I get an incy wincy little tiny bit of commission. I've had a sale, a £20 sale. Um, I'm finding more and more this last few weeks people offering me stuff. I think people are starting to uh, thinking about make, you know, clearing their cupboards out and getting some money in. I'm going after work today, going to somebody's house to have a look round and see what there is. Another lady's just been in and offered me some things. I had an email yesterday, somebody offering me things. Um, it's like literally two or three times a day now. Just sold a sort of a, a collection of things. So that's made my day, really. I just need to pack it all up so she can get it home safely. Oh, it's no fun getting old. I've now got a random pain in my elbow. It's just all of a sudden, my elbow really, really hurts. I haven't done anything. <sighs> um... I 
got some cupboards out the back, like lockers that I keep empty boxes and things in. But I've also got a tiny bit of stock in there from when I did Etsy and even eBay, I think, from ages ago. And I couldn't get to the cupboard for a long time because I had stuff stacked in front of the cupboard. So I'd have had to move all the stuff to get to the cupboard. So we cleared out the stock room the other week. So I found a little box. There's more in the back, but let's have a look what's in the box. Yeah, let's have a look. Rediscovering stock that I've forgotten about. Oh, cool. So some little Coca-Cola pin badges. Bear with me, I'm going to have to find my glasses. See now. Um, so these, I think, are from Olympics and things. Little Coca-Cola ones. So I'll get these priced up and put those in my window. Oh, I've got some Japanese notes and some Greek bank notes. Let's have a look what's in here. Fire Guards Handbook. I've got a feeling this is on my website, so I need to check. So that's that. Oh, these are some little, like, photographs of old film stars and things. Almost like spread cards, but similar sort of thing. Oh, fab. That kind of thing. Let's see. Here we go. Modern Beauties. So, yeah, they are cigarette cards. Let's have a look. Some more Devon postcards. I'll have to look on my website if I've got these listed. Uh, what is that? Like a ration book? Fuel ration book. We might have to get some of those soon. Some old vintage cards. Some shipping postcards. And then what's in here? Oh look, 21 today. Old crinoline lady. Oh wow, it's like a whole book. See, I'd forgotten I got these. Birthday cards. I wonder if they're all 21st ones. Be cool for somebody who likes crafting. Get some of these vintage old cards. So, to find something to do with these things. The only thing I could find listed on my website was the Fire Guards Handbook. Um, so I need to find somewhere to put that safe so that if I do sell it, I know where it is. And then think about doing something with these. Um, right, I'm going to round up the vlog. One thing I remembered that I was going to say was, you know they resell and flourish challenge thing, March challenge. Um, I told you on that first day that I accidentally it shared to Facebook. I was a bit embarrassed, blah, blah, blah. But then I just bit the bullet and let all the others get shared to Facebook as well, all the other posts. And so far, those have had the most interaction on my Facebook page for ages. So maybe showing you the more personal side of my business isn't such a bad thing. Right. I am going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're still here, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already for Jenny at the beginning. Um, let me know if you see anything you're interested in. Remember to put questions in the comments. Give me some ideas what you want to hear. And um, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you very soon. Mm -hmm.